Hi, my name is Professor Merriman. I'm an English professor in Japan, and I use the award system for Sloodle uh, to uh, give points to the members of my group called Cypress Chat over on Cypress Village. I'm going to show you how to set up the same system in your school also. Uh, first, I'll give you a little example of how this works. Uh, we sit on a quiz chair here, and it's fetching the quiz data below here. And then I have a quiz set up for Sarah Smith. And then up here it asks me a question, uh, where does Sarah Smith live? And the answer is Pasadena. And it uh, gives me the, the answer. Then I, uh, it says, what color is her car? I say blue. And it says correct. Down here it says correct, Professor Merriman. I'm in the red team. We've got red and green and blue. You can set these up with teams also. Uh, also, I'd like you to take a look up here. When I get the answer right, if I get it right, what is the name of the department store? Bargett. And you should see here that the, uh, the numbers go up to 340. So uh, how much is it? 350. There we go. So the points are showing up for the student as they take the quiz, and then this uh, the scoreboard shows the top 10 inside the class. I can advance it, and uh, you can see uh, other, other students also. Uh, and another great thing about this is that if, you're, if for some reason I want to give render actor <laughs> some points, I can click on his name, and then I can uh, put plus 10, and then save and then uh, he'll render actor will get 10 points. So now he's somewhere else. I don't know where he is on the board, but uh, render actor, where are you? I go back, there he is, yeah. So now he's got 10 points. I can also subtract points if I click on Monica and I say minus 10 for her because she's been a bad girl. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Monica, uh, Monique, sorry. And so Monique will go down to 20 points and there she is down 20 points. Okay, well let's show you how how to uh, set up a system like this. So we're going to start with um, uh, uploading the files to the server and then getting the tools and setting everything up. So we'll do that in the next video. Okay, I'll show you how to set it up. Let's go to the website first. Sludel.org. Make sure you back everything up before you do this. Uh, so you go to the downloads section and then go to advanced download page way down here at the bottom in the little writing and then at the bottom of that page <laughs> we're going to this little awards system this little link over here and uh, then download it as a zip file and extract it so you have these three folders then you're going to go to your FTP program so that you can upload those folders onto your server. I'm going to the Moodle uh, directory where I have Moodle installed and in the mod section uh, is where this little, um, uh, this little module goes. So just drag it over into the mod directory. That's where Sloodle goes. And then you also need to drag the object, Sloodle object folder, into the assignment folder under type. So assignment type, and you're going to make sure that you have that. Don't worry about this little award one. That one's just something different. It's old. Uh, and then one more is this little menu. This little menu goes inside the blocks folder. So you want to put that inside the blocks. So you should have in there, you should have a little menu one. And that's used, this little menu block is used for uh, doing auto registration and auto enrollment. That's what that's mainly for. So, okay, once you have them installed, you then need to uh, go to your website. And you'll go to your website and go to the front page of the website um, and click on the notifications so that it'll build the tables in Sloodle. Uh, so then you're going to click on notifications and then it goes through and builds the tables which we've already done so uh, I'm going to go to the course and we have to set up three things to make this actually work okay so you can see that it actually works number one is we need a controller so you're going to add an activity and add Sloodle controller you add the Sloodle controller, it has some configurations, don't worry, you can figure that out. Add the Sloodle controller, then you need to add a quiz. So I added this Sarah Smith quiz, 
and your quiz can be multiple choice, fill in, or possibly true and false, I think. So you make a quiz, and then after you've added the quiz, you need to um, add a Sloodle award system. So to add the, the quiz, of course, is going to be here, and to add the Sloodle award system, it's going to show up here. Right? You can see here that uh, above it says quiz points, right? And if I go back to the website, you see quiz points. That's what that is. This is quiz points. And if I open it up and I do in the configuration, I go back to configuration, you can see that uh, I also have the attendance points. So the attendance points uh, are located actually in here. In here, they see, you see this one says attendance points, and if a, uh, a student clicks on this board, uh, it gives up a, a, a message and adds 10 points to, um, to the attendance points section.